Okay, so we're getting back into the sunroom makeover today and we are getting to the floor. We just dropped Jameson off at my mom's house, did a Home Depot pickup order. So our plan is to use the Ardex Feather Finish over the current cement. So we're gonna pull up all of this carpet in here. Thankfully, I think it's just like laid down. I don't think it's actually like glued down or anything. So we're gonna pull all that up, try to get it cleaned up really well, and then we're gonna get started on basically skim coating it. While Luke is doing that, I'll probably climb up and finish caulking the ceiling. And yeah, that's the plan for today. We're gonna get moving. Let's get done. just got the carpet ripped up and then we went around and swept a couple of times and you can see that this is like an old carpet glue the carpet that was down was not actually glued down they had some rug tape in some spots but for the most part this is from carpet a long long time ago so after we got done sweeping we took the vacuum cleaner and we went around all of the edges and just tried to get as much of the dirt and dust as we could so we're gonna get started on the, the feather finish. So this is what we're using. We have four boxes of it. We have about 300 square feet in here to cover. Um, it does about 200 square feet per box. We're hoping that that's enough to give us enough coverage to do multiple coats if needed. I'm really hoping to only need to do two coats with a light sanding in between. Since it is concrete, um, it shouldn't need too much. It's already kind of what we're looking for and then it's just gonna skin coat it so once we're done then we'll seal it I, we got some natural look sealer we're starting off with a natural look if we want it to be a little glossier we can always do that afterwards you can't really go back once you've gone gloss so that's why we're going to start with the natural see if we like it if it's not kind of the look we're going for we can always gloss it up a little bit so this is the one like big problem spot that we have it's two different slabs so we're gonna use the feather finish to hopefully seal that. We will see. I don't know if that's like the proper thing to do. Hopefully it'll hold up. Otherwise we're gonna have to- We'll have to come back later at some point and yeah. work on it, but- We don't really have the time, so. Nope. So that wraps up this first day of doing the flooring. It is still drying. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to do another coat until tomorrow. So we need it to dry really, really well so that we can actually step on it. And you can see like some of it's starting to dry, some of it's not. It will have color variant, which we actually like. I like the texture of it. He definitely figured it out when he got over here. So you'll see that. So over here was a lot rougher. Um, we didn't have the consistency right, but yeah, I think we'll have some really good tips and tricks for you guys, so stay tuned. We're gonna give you the lowdown on how to use this stuff and get the most for your money. Okay, so I'm about to get started. It's the second day of putting on our 
Ardex feather finish. Yesterday, when I got started, I uh, put it started off putting it on a little too thick. I followed the instructions on the box. It says to mix like 1.75 quarts of water with a full um, box of the feather finish. It's like a seven pound box. Doing that, it was super thick, almost like a peanut butter type of consistency, maybe even a little thicker. Um, so I was having issues with that and then it started to dry up on me before I could even get it spread. I was really running into a lot of issues with that specific type of consistency that I was working with. So as I kept messing with it and started, you know, getting further into the room, and I'll show you here in a second what I'm talking about, um, I found a consistency that worked a little better. It's more like a cake batter type of consistency. Uh, I've tried, I did it a little bit thinner in spots and a little bit thicker just to see what I thought worked best. But overall, I really felt like the cake batter uh, type of consistency works best. The box says not to over mix with water. Um, but I just had to do it. It was just way too thick for what we were looking for. I think maybe the box was talking about for maybe if you're looking for something a little more structurally sound, um, you don't want to mix it too thin. But since we are just putting like a light coating on top, more of like a like a skim coat, it had to be mixed thinner just to get it to spread nice and evenly. So today I'm going to start off by sanding that first layer, and then I'm going to go back over and skim coat on top of it and then uh, hopefully after that we're done with the flooring at that point so i'm going to get started doing that uh, but before i do that let me show you a few things that i uh, i did wrong <laughs> okay so if you can see here this is where i started in this corner and you can see all these trowel lines and where there's these thick dips and and just really rough troweling with what I was working with and the peanut butter type of consistency that I was using to start off with was just made it a little too thick, a little too rough. This part definitely took longer to dry. And I was messing with that for about a whole bag until I got to about right here. And then as you can see over here, I moved over here and I had mixed it down a much thinner. And as you can see, it's just so much smoother over here. Um, so this will be a lot easier for me to work with today. And then all I need to do now is just some light sanding. But yeah, so here's like a super rough area where we had a our crack at that was separating the room. I'm um, hoping that I can really get this smoothed out today. Now that I've got some experience doing it, it should go a little bit smoother for me. But yeah, so I'm gonna get started and then we'll see how it goes. So I got out the the electric palm sander. Um, I'll use that if I have to. I don't really want to though because these walls are freshly painted and it'll pick up a lot of dust and dirt on the walls that you really struggle to get off, especially with this cedar. It's so porous and just kind of rough so it just grabs on everything. So I'm really trying to do as much with this as I can. That way I can just sweep it up with a broom. But there may be some spots that are kind of tougher to get to and I'll, I'll use that just because it'll make my life a lot easier. Um, but I'm just trying to make as little as a mess as possible.
here is what we've gotten done so far. This part is sanded. Like I said, this is not supposed to be perfect. And this look is not for everyone, but this is probably not something I would do inside of our house either, but I do think it works really well for an outdoor space. So we're gonna have to patch these up because I got a little crazy with the sander and then we need to put the finish on it as well. We need to put baseboards on and we laid this one over here so you can kind of see it's going to definitely give it a finished off look. Here's so. the deal, we did not get the flooring done and I went back and forth on whether or not I was going to release a video this week or try to combine it with whatever we get done this weekend and then release that next week. But ultimately I decided I want to keep these videos more realistic for you. It is just two of us, we have a toddler, we're doing all the work by ourselves. So things don't always get done as quickly as we would like them to. There's not always a big reveal at the end of every week. And yeah, I decided to go ahead and keep you guys updated as we go. There will be some videos that will have, you know, great before and afters. And some of them will just be like filled with progress. And that's all we can do. So our goal for this weekend is to patch a couple of areas on the floor that I got a little heavy handed with the sander on and uh, get the sealer put on the floor. We wanna do some baseboards in there as well to just like finish it off and then get the chandelier hung as well as the like string lights that we're gonna hang in there. So that's my goal for this weekend. It's probably shooting a little high, but we'll see. <laughs> This is turning into more of like a little series. So I knew that it was going to be multiple parts. I assumed it would be maybe two or three videos. It's looking more like it's gonna be five-ish videos, but I think that's okay. Again, we just wanna keep it real with you guys and show like what it's truly like to be doing a DIY renovation and be, you know, Luke works full time. I have Jameson all day. So everything takes three times longer, costs, double what you thought it was gonna be and that's just the reality um so yeah as always guys thanks so much for watching we appreciate each and every one of you we have some new subscribers around here hi guys welcome thanks for joining along on the journey we have so many projects to do i have so many ideas lots to share with you guys lots to come so Make sure that your bell notification is on. If you like this video, let us know, give us a like, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.